Now, this is a question from the natural vegetation part. They have given a question uh, features regarding people tree. So, the question is like this. With reference to the people tree, consider the following statements. This is one of the one of those rare trees that release oxygen both in day and in the night. Then the the people tree falls in the category of dry season deciduous or semi evergreen tree. Then it has a type of photosynthesis called crassulation acid metabolism or simply CAM mechanism. So we need to know which of these are correct regarding people tree. So actually the people tree is a hemi epiphyte plant. Okay. So this people tree falls in the category of dry season deciduous or semi evergreen tree. So actually it will come under both uh, deciduous as well as semi evergreen tree. And this species called people tree is one of those rare trees that release oxygen both in day and the night. That means there is a name for this mechanism known as crassulation acid mechanism. What is crassulation acid metabolism is for for example in dry lands, in dry areas, in arid areas the trees or the plants cannot open their stomata during the day because in day the temperature will be more there. Right. So, when they open their stomata in order to release oxygen or in order to absorb carbon dioxide, what will happen is the water will escape through that stomata because of the high temperature. Right. So, in order to avoid such losing of water through the stomata, water molecule through the stomata, the arid plants, the plants which is uh, growing in the arid region or desert region, they are adapted a mechanism known as crassulation acid metabolism. So, in that mechanism, what will happen is in the night time they will open their stomata okay in order to absorb the carbon dioxide and in order to release the oxygen this species the plants found in the desert region they will open their stomata in the night okay and then they will store the carbon dioxide in their uh, body as malic acid or in some terms of chemical molecules and in daytime they will absorb the uh, sunlight and they will do the photosynthesis process okay and in the night time again they will open the stomata and they will release oxygen and again uh, what absorb the carbon dioxide and this process will happen right so this process is known as crassulation acid metabolism so this people tree is also having this crassulation acid metabolism they will open their stomata both in uh, night and day right so regarding this people is one of those rare trees that release oxygen both in day and night so, the most plants largely uptake carbon dioxide and release oxygen during the day that is that means the photosynthesis process and uptake oxygen and release CO2 during the night that means the respiration. So, some plants such as people tree can uptake CO2 during the night as well as because of their ability to perform a type of photosynthesis and that is called as crassulation acid metabolism or CAM mechanism. So, however, it is not true that they release large amounts of oxygen during the night. CAM is one of the three types of photosynthesis pathways occurring commonly in plants. So, there are other two mechanisms known as C3 mechanism and C4, C3 and C4 pathways. And out of this crassulation CAM and C3 and C4, C3 is the most common among land plants. Okay. So, this CAM occurs primarily in desert plants and epiphytes. Epiphytes, we know that epiphytes are plants that live on other plants, usually larger trees, right. So, this uh, people tree, it is a kind of hemi epiphyte plant. So, that is why it is also having the mechanism known as CAM, crassulation acid metabolism, right. So, this CAM plants, they do not open their stomata during the day in order to minimize water loss. So, during the night, they open their stomata and fix carbon dioxide in form of malate. So, we said malate or malic acid right so during the day they break down the malate and use the use the released co2 through calvin cycle to produce sugar similar to c3 plants now however cam is an energy inefficient reaction and hence plants use cam only during certain conditions okay so these are the main points regarding cam mechanism simply it is nothing but uh, in order to avoid water loss desert plants will open stomata during the night okay that is simply known as crassulation acid metabolism in order to avoid the water loss okay so people trees also have in this because people comes under hemi epiphyte category right so epiphytes as well as desert plants will exhibit this crassulation acid metabolism so regarding people tree 
Pepper tree is a hemi epiphyte in its native habitat that is the seeds germinate and grow as a epiphyte on other trees. And then when the host tree dies they established on the soil. So this is how people grows. So that is why we call it as a hemi epiphyte. So it has been suggested that when they live as epiphyte they use camp pathway to produce carbohydrates and when they live on soil they switch to C3 cycle or C3 pathway to produce carbohydrates. So when they live on soil they will switch to C3 type of photosynthesis. So people tree would either release or not release CO2 in the night depending on if they are epiphytic or not. So for other camp plants it would depend on if they have adequate water or not or other environmental factors. Okay, so now we know that people is having a mechanism, a different mechanism known as crassulation and acid metabolism, right. So there are lots of other examples also, two common examples for plants which is showing or which is exhibiting crassulation acid metabolism is cacti and uh, pineapple. So the cactus plant and pineapple, they also exhibit this mechanism known as crassulation acid metabolism. So just keep in mind these two plants also, okay. So most of the desert plants is having this crassulation acid metabolism. Coming to the question again, with reference to the people tree, consider the following statements. This is one of those rare trees that release oxygen both in day and the night. So that's the correct statement, right? Depending on whether it is in epiphytic stage or in the soil state, it will release both oxygen in day and night. So first statement is correct. So we eliminated uh, B and C. Then second statement. So, so second, the people tree falls in the category of dry season, deciduous or semi evergreen tree. So that also we discussed. The people tree comes on both in the deciduous and also in the uh, semi evergreen tree. Okay. So dry season deciduous or semi evergreen tree category that people will come under. So second statement is also correct. That's why we got the answer as D. 1, 2 and 3. So all these third statements are correct regarding the people tree. So coming to third statement, they are saying that it has a type of photosynthesis called as crassulation acid metabolism. So that also we discussed and that's the correct statement. So people exhibits uh, a mechanism known, known as crassulation acid me metabolism and that's why they can release oxygen both in the day and night. Okay, so here the answer is D. All these three statements are correct.